Are you looking for a pair of lightweight, water resistant, subtle earbuds that won't break the bank and have good sound? Then you're in the right place. Hello, I'm Wanderer001 and this is my review of the JBL Tune 230NC. NC is for noise cancellation. If this is your first foray into earbuds of any way, shape or form, well, you're noticing I'm not showing you the earbuds right now. That is because every earbud has a case which they go into and is what charges the earbuds themselves. Right here on the front, you can see there are three slashes. Those are the LEDs for this particular earbud. And you can tell these lights indicate the amount of charge that the case has. And then there you can see my earbuds are going into pairing mode. I'm gonna close that up really quick again. The case itself is nicely sized, matte finish all around. I have beaten this up pretty extensively and you can see it doesn't really show too bad for wear, which is nice. Now, coming around to the back here, you will notice that there is a single USB-C charging port back there. And that is again, how you're going to charge both the case and the earbuds because the earbuds charge through the case itself. Now, one thing I do appreciate is that there is no lip or channel on the earbud case itself. Some have it where you can bump it and easily open it. Uh, this one is rather sturdy. Uh, notice if I flick it, it is not opening up. If I come to the channel here, it will quickly pop open as I would want and flicking it thusly does not automatically shut it. And if I hold the case upside down, the earbuds are magnetized into the case itself. Now, while you might have seen these automatically pair to my smartphone, which is off camera, that's not to say that they don't automatically do this. You actually have to set these up, whether you're using just your standard Bluetooth option, whether you're tethering this to your phone or computer, or if you wanna take advantage of some of the advanced features that these earbuds have, you would have to go through a setup process to use them with the application. So let's take a quick look at how that setup process works. This is setup of the JBL Tune 230NC. Supposedly, all you have to do is select pair new device and then open your container. And right here on Android, pops right up. I can select connect. You'll notice that the earbuds are flashing, so I'm gonna select connect. And we're gonna give that a moment to actually connect. This is just to the phone itself. I'm not, oh, and connecting and done, just like that, 100% uh, right and left. This was just through Bluetooth. This was not utilizing the application in any way, shape or form. So if you don't wanna use the app, just know you don't have to, and you can connect it just like I did. If you do choose to install the app, after they're paired, there will be a software update. And right here, it's always a good idea to update your software with a device like this, especially if it's a smart device. If you're just getting them for earbuds, you don't have to worry. But if you're planning to use the app, which is going to have like equalizers and things like that, you're definitely gonna to wanna to make sure that you run a software update. Keep in mind, just because I use the application, as I stated before, you don't need to use it. You can just Bluetooth these to whatever device you want to listen through. Now, I am going to take one of these earbuds out and kind of show you a little difficult down in there, but there is a channel uh, that these sit in and there's charging points down there. Charging points match up with two metal indents on the bottom of your earbuds. And there we can see a little bit better down there. Earbud sits there and that deep channel there is where the stem would sit. One other thing with this case, it can stand up if that matters to you or if you're looking for a perfectly round object. Bringing our earbud into focus, here we can see it does have some JBL branding right there. And right up here is a touch point and you saw LED indicators. The touch point is a little tricky to manipulate sometimes, it does take some getting used to. Uh, this is not like somewhere touch points down here or a larger target down there. Uh, it is right up here at the top. You will notice the shape of the earbud. Realistically, you've got this bulbous section here, but then you have a little rubber tip that fits directly into your ear canal. The earbud itself has four microphones on it. That's going to help with your talk and your use of the active noise cancellation and the ambient pass-through talking. Uh, so what do I mean by that? Well, if you use the ANC, you're going to pretty much drown out any noise that's coming in to the earbud itself from the outside world. You will be able to hear people talk 
in a muffled tone. It is very good at specific pitches, as with most ANC. Compared to some of the other ANC earbuds that I've tested, it's about what I expect for the price point. It is good at most motor sounds, but higher pitch sounds or lower vibrating sounds you might notice. The pass-through is pretty good. It's not, again, as compared to some others, where it enhances the sounds coming into it, but rather it just allows sound to pass through them. There also is the talk through, which I kind of have mixed feelings about because, well, the talk through allows you to talk to people while you're using these. And by doing that, it lowers the volume of whatever you're listening to so that you can hear out what people are saying. It's really weird in my opinion. I would stick with either pass through fully or the active noise cancellation. Right here you can see on the stem, just in case you're wondering, uh, there is a indicator as to which earbud you are currently holding. Coming back to our case, it might feel a little counterintuitive. Right goes into the right side as it's facing you, but the earbud will face away from you. I know that might seem a little weird, but that is how you utilize them in the case. One of the things I like about this particular earbud over some others that I've tested is the fact that it is matte black. So if you're trying to stealthily use these in an office situation, you're probably gonna be able to use these without drawing too much attention to yourself. The ear tips themselves, if the standard middle range that come with this does not fit you as well as you would hope, well, you also have a set of small and large earbuds that come with your JBL 230NC. You also get JBL's really like bright orange USB to USB-C charging cable with this, which I greatly appreciate because battery life of electronics of any way, shape or form is very important. So speaking of the battery, depending on how you're utilizing this, you can get anywhere from 1030 or 824 battery use. What does that mean per se? Well, you can get 10 hours per charge for the individual earbuds. And if you include throwing them back in the case and charging again, you can get up to 40 hours of use. That's without active noise cancellation turned on or pass through. If you're utilizing active noise cancellation or pass through, you will get eight hours of usage from the earbuds before having to put them back in the case. And in that sense, you then get 24 hours of usage cycling them into the case as well. If you need to quickly charge these so that you can listen to something on the go, maybe while you're out doing your jogging or mowing your lawn, if you place these in the case for 10 minutes, you will get a two hour runtime on them, which is fantastic. I have found for myself that these actually make it through my entire workday, so I really don't have to worry. I use these stealthily to listen to music from my phone or my computer or when I'm taking Zoom calls. Now, I will say you can attach this to two devices at once. However, the audio will only come through one device at a time. So just because you might have it on your phone and your computer does not mean that you'll be able to play audio through them both. While you do utilize the case to charge the earbuds, the case itself will take two hours of charging using that USB-C cable. Just because they look kind of plain does not mean that, that they are not feature packed. In fact, let's take a look at the application for these earbuds so you see exactly what I'm talking about. This is the JBL app for the JBL Tune 230NC. Right here we could see I have them already paired up to the app, but if I have not done so already, I could simply select the big plus sign and that will allow me to hunt for those earbuds to add to the application. Since we already have them installed, we're just gonna click on this and here we could see we got an image depicting the earbuds themselves the left right battery levels, as well as the battery level for the case. So right here you can see I'm at 10%, so I really should go and charge my case. If I select the little eye icon next to anything, it lets you know a little more about that. In this case, it's saying I should charge the battery. I have a power button up here. If I select that, that will disconnect the earbuds from my phone. Coming down, we have our ambient sound controls. Again, there's an eye. If we select it, it lets us know. This is what noise cancellation does. This is what ambient does. And then this is what talk through does. And then we can click that off. And then you could see right now I have ambient aware. That's kind of your pass through hearing. So you will still hear the audio, but you will also hear your surrounding. Active noise cancellation blocks out all sound coming in from the outside as best it can. And then talk through will lower the volume of whatever you're listening to uh, so that you can talk to somebody and hear 
better. Next we have our equalizer. So there are a few preset equalizers. Right now you can see I'm on the vocal, but we can toggle through that for bass, club, studio, and then we'll have to go back the other way for jazz. That's really it. If we select the arrow for the equalizer, we can tap on our presets, we can add our own preset, and then we can manipulate the mids, the lows, and all that. We also have the option to edit a pre-existing one. Uh, so I can come in here on any one of these touch points and change that. And notice it says vocal two. I can tap on that and change the name of that if I wanted to. We're gonna select back and then back again because that's our equalizer area for the app. Next we have our gestures. You have left and right gestures that you can control. So if I tap on this, here is my left. These are all the options that I have for the left. And then right from here, I can say, no, go to the right one and let me change what I can do. So for either the left or right, we can customize the gesture. So one tap, double tap, or tap and hold. So you have one tap, noise cancellation, double tap, turn on off, and then tap and hold, active, activating your native voice assistant. And then you have call controls. So double tap, answering incoming calls or hanging up, and then tap and hold is reject call or mute. Selecting the drop down arrow will let you pick what you want that to do. Now, I do wish that you could have like something like ambient control on both the right and left, but as you can see, because the left is in control of ambient gestures, when I come over to the right, I don't get that option. I get volume controls on the right. So here we could see I could do playback, blah, 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 uh, but right now it's set up for volume. So one tap to up, double tap to lower and then tap and hold to activate native voice assistant. This is the one area of the application I wish they did a little better. Now we have voice aware. So again, anytime you wonder, just click the I. That's pretty much how much of your own voice that you'll hear when you're doing active noise cancellation. I do not want to hear myself at all, so I keep that option off. Here we have our smart audio. I have it for audio mode, but if you wanted, you can select video mode and that will give you your better audio sounds depending on the type of media that you are interacting with. Next, we have our voice assistant. On my particular phone, I have Google or Amazon. I have both of them turned off because I don't want to interact with my voice assistant through my earbuds. I have the find my earbuds option. So you actually have left or right uh, to protect your hearing, ensure they're not actually in your ears, but I have them slightly off camera, but I do have a lapel mic, but let's see if we can hear that. So it's letting you know, take it out if it's in your ear, continue. And there, it's emitting a tone so that you can find it if you happen to leave your earbud outside of the case. The one problem I have with this, it's find my earbud, not find my case. So if you misplace your case, you're not gonna be able to do that option. Next, we have power saving. This will allow you to select what happens if the earbud is left out of your ear for any length of time. So right now, I have it go into standby mode, meaning if it's idle for more than 15 minutes, it kind of reduces the power. So in standby mode, it will automatically turn off ANC or pass through to save power. You could also select after the 15 minutes to just automatically power them off altogether. You have to put them back into the case to repair them with whatever device you happen to be using before. Selecting back, now we have our support option right here. So we have setup, quick start guide, FAQ, reset to factory, and then this kind of lets you know, hey, what's the software, and then serial number, which is blurred out. But that is everything that you can do with the JBL app for the JBL Tune 230NC. As you saw, there's a lot of things that you can do that you might not have considered useful or wanting for an earbud. One of the things that I appreciate the most is the fact that I can listen to one earbud at a time and have the other one lying down and then have it either go into hibernate or turn itself off completely to preserve battery on that earbud. I'm not a fan of the limited bud controls uh, having to pick from left and right side. Other manufacturers do that a little better in my opinion, but that's not to say that it is a large deterrent from these. Now, one of the big things that JBL prides itself on is its bass boost and audio quality. I could say I mostly use these for the spoken word. So podcasts, zooms, things like that. I do listen to music on them. However, I'm not a super heavy bass user. For me, I have found the bass levels to be 
perfectly adequate for something of this shape and size. You're not going to get super crazy bass out of something this size and for the size of the drivers that you get in this earbud. Now, even though I really like these earbuds, there's a few things that I've noticed with them that I want to bring to your attention. First being that there are some tones that the earbuds do to let you know when you're actuating things from the ear stems or when they're reconnecting. Uh, that volume cannot be changed in any way, shape, or form and can be a little loud for some people. Speaking of volume, even though I have these at their lowest volume, depending on what I'm connecting to, the sound coming from that might be louder than what I would deem acceptable from the earbud. Uh, and that's talking about the control on the computer to this. Wish there was a way to do a little more finicky controls with the earbuds themselves. I've also noticed, or have had difficulties with, and this is the way I generally do this. I put this earbud in first. I've had issues where that earbud or would not charge itself until I fiddled with it. Now, I don't know if the interior portion kind of losing some of that springiness because I just have to wiggle it around a little bit and then it charges, but I kind of wish that I'd just be able to push it in and take it out like I normally do. One other thing that I dislike is this here, the LED indicator. Right now, that is a long, steady white light. But once it starts flashing kind of quickly, that lets you know that, hey, I need to be charged because I'm running low on battery. I wish that there was some sort of coloration or it lets you know a little sooner when it needed to be charged, but that is a small gripe for an otherwise stellar product. My last and last little gripe that I have, and I'm waiting, they might be able to do this via a firmware update. If I have this in the case, if I have the earbuds in the case, close up like this, not connected to my Bluetooth anymore, I have had occasions where the earbuds will reconnect themselves to either my computer or my phone while they're in the case and the case is closed. Again, small gripe, but data point for you, just so you're aware. I have started far too many meetings having my computer attached to my earbuds and not realizing why I can't hear or have the other person hear me because they're attached to here. And I'd crank the volume up and then notice that I can hear them from the case and then have to disconnect them manually from the computer. Not a deal breaker, just a data point. Speaking of data points, currently there are several other newer versions from JBL for earbuds, but I do not care for the shape or size of those earbuds. And because these are an older version, that means that you can actually pick them up cheaper. In fact, that's why I picked these up. They were on sale for almost 50% off, which to me puts these in a instant buy. If you're in the market looking for subtle, good quality sound and fast charging earbuds that aren't going to break the bank right here. JBL Tune 230 NCs. With that being said, I have been Wanderer 001. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the area below. And as always, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, consider giving it a like as that will help other people find the video as well. If you like what I'm doing here, you can always help fuel the next review by buying me a coffee. Link in the description below. Last but not least, if you want to be notified when I upload a new video, you know what to do.